Alright, hey guys, and welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are doing good. Um, it's literally been forever since I've had the chance to talk to you guys. So let me explain what's been going on with my channel. I'm gonna be getting back to daily, uh, so that way I can upload some more Minecraft and other games, whatever you guys would like to see, uh, and it'll be fun. So I'm just gonna take a quick minute to tell you guys what's up, like, where I've been. I kind of want to be honest with you guys since you take the time to watch my videos and all that, and yeah. If you want to skip this part of the video, you can. I literally do not mind. I just wanted to tell you guys a few things first. So much has happened these past few months. Uh, I just moved into a new place in Washington. It's incredibly beautiful up here. I'm definitely enjoying my stay so far. I've also been attending classes uh, at school for music while I've been here, which is huge for me. If you're new to my channel and don't know, uh, music's kind of like my thing. I've made music since before I've done videos. And I've learned all I know, which is not that much, uh, from YouTube videos, like I would just go to YouTube, type in, uh, how do I make this sound, and then I would just try to do it. Uh, it didn't come out very well, but I basically just learned music like that, which is not the right way to do it. Uh, so I did decide to actually sit down and focus on music theory, which is really important. So I've been doing that, and I'm really satisfied with the progress, but also I've been doing this stuff with Vision Squad. If you guys haven't checked out the new Vision Squad channel, I definitely recommend you go over there and have a peek. Uh, I'll drop the link down in the description below. Some of you watching might even be from the Vision Squad channel, so if you are new, hello, welcome to the channel. Uh, this, that was kind of like a late greeting, but... Before we get into the video, uh, go down to the description. I've left a link to a poll where you can vote for what kind of content you want to see on the channel. Uh, your guys' opinion is important to me since, you know, uh, you're the ones watching the videos. So be sure to just go down there and vote for like what types of vids you want to see. Uh, I could like play with other people. I know that you guys don't see that a lot on my channel, but with the new team, I'm gonna be recording with those dudes all the time. I'll definitely be playing other games on my channel other than Minecraft, of course. Uh, I've been on Steam lately playing some new games here and there and uh, there's some really good ones. So I might give some other games a try. I don't know. Just let me know. Just just go click that link down there, you know, just vote. That's that's up to you. There is one more thing I do want to say before we get started with the video, and that is thank you guys. Seriously, thank you for doing what you do, watching my videos, commenting, liking my videos, sharing them. Everything you do is much appreciated. You guys allow me to do what I do, and I really cannot thank you enough. But without further ado, let's play some Minecraft. Yeah. Hey. So have you guys ever thought Minecraft would be super cool if it had like a currency or maybe it would be awesome to have some sort of money that you can spend on things? Well I have and that's exactly what this mod I'm going to be showing you today adds into Minecraft. Uh, it also adds creeper villages and villagers which is kind of weird but uh, we'll get to that. What are these zombies doing over here? What are you guys shaking your head at? You bet. Oh no! No no! That, that's what they were shaking their head at. They're, they knew. They're like, Jason, don't walk near that lava. You're gonna die instantly. Hey, I got my chicken back. I mean, that's all that really matters. All I wanted was my chicken, you know? You guys know how much I love chicken. But uh, if I look behind me here, you will actually see one of those creeper villages. And I'm actually really excited. I want to go check this out, and we will do that in just a second. But first, I'm going to show you guys how to get this new mysterious currency, and it is called Voxels. Uh, this mod is called the Voxels mod. So yeah, the currency is called Voxels, and whenever you kill hostile mobs, there is a chance they will drop Voxels, and that guy did just drop some. Up in the top left, you will see that I have three little creeper faces. Now those are actually called voxels, but the icon is a creeper face, which is pretty cool. I actually like the concept of this currency a lot. So yeah, I'm gonna kill this dude, see if he drops any currency. I think most- oh no! They just burned! But yeah, I think in most cases, hostile mobs will drop voxels, which is awesome. So I'm gonna go collect a little bit more uh, voxels. Uh, by the way, neutral mobs do not drop any, so don't don't go off killing Jeffrey's every- Jeffrey, you're safe. You're safe with me. I won't kill you for voxels. But yeah, I'm gonna go find a few more voxels before I head over to the creeper village because things are pretty expensive there and yeah, I need to just kill a few more monsters. Alright, so I've got quite a few more voxels and I'm walking over to the, the creeper village here and this is what they look like. Can I trade? Oh, I can trade this dude right here. 
Um, oh, I'm, I'm gonna trade the dudes inside. Sorry, S Smith. Was that his name, Smith? <laughs> that's a that's a weird first name, unless that's his like last name. Someone named Smith is probably watching this video. But yeah, uh, I'm gonna head into the village. Wait, did this guy just say something to me? Looky what I got. His name's Shady Creeper. Oh, I don't know if I should be talking to this dude. Now I'm gonna do it anyways. Oh yeah, okay, so the Shady Creeper, I know this dude. Uh, we'll get back to this guy soon. He has some really cool offers, and yeah, I'll get back to those. So let's, uh, let's explore the village a little bit. Let's see what they've got here in the Creeper Village. So this is actually so weird. Look, they got little Creeper children running around and stuff. I can't trade those though. They're just kind of enjoying their lives. Who's this guy? Farmer Tree Hugger. This guy trades food. I don't, I don't know if I need any food right now. Let's see what this guy's offering. Lab Assistant Toshiko. All right, so this guy's got quite a bit of cool things. He's got droppers, hoppers, dispensers, redstone lamps, and like a ton of alchemy ingredients. Uh, so that's really cool. Uh, let's see. Well, let's see what some other dudes are selling. Hello, Mr. Creeper. This guy looks normal. Citizen Britta. Uh, oh, it looks like Britta is only buying things right now. This is the buying slots. You can put stuff in here and, and they, they buy it. Let's see if uh, Britta will buy some of my chicken. Oh, she did. Okay, so I actually gained quite a few voxels there. I sold three chickens at 21 voxels each. So I got about 63 voxels for that transaction. Let's go check out the mayor's office. This is uh, the mayor of Creeperville. He's hiding out here. Let's let's walk in, see what he's up to. Uh, there's usually quite a bit of people in here. Where's the mayor at? Is this the mayor? No, that's a guard. There he is, the mayor. <laughs> he's got a little monocle and a mustache. Okay, I'm gonna talk to him. Uh, so the mayor's got some really cool stuff. He's got some really good regular items, kind of like uh, nether stars, ender pro- Wow, nether star is 2,000 voxels. That's pretty ridiculous. But he's also got some unique items, like the mob zapper, which I will tell you what that does in just a second, un unless you saw what it did just now. And then he sells his monocle, which is really expensive, like, wh what? 12,500 voxels? And then he sells the key to the city, which is very important. I will get back to that. Uh, very soon. Some creepers will trade special top shelf items uh, that are super rare. Uh, there's a certain way to get them. Uh, I'll show you how to do that in just a minute. There are two ways to get voxels. Uh, like I said before, you can kill monsters, which will occasionally drop voxels, or you can trade villagers like I just did. I sold uh, Britta or whatever her name was, my chickens for like a few voxels. And yeah, those are the two ways to get voxels. You'll also see another number up in the top left, it's yellow. Uh, that is my reputation, and reputation is super important. When your reputation is yellow, like it is now, it's zero, because by default you start with zero, um, creepers, when trading with them, will take a 20% cut. So, come back here. Is this a mining dude? Okay, so, oh, that's awesome. They have a, a miner creeper who sells ingots and stuff really cool but yeah so right now he's charging 20% more just because I've got a neutral reputation um, if I increase my reputation to green he will only take a 5% cut and I believe green is uh, at least a hundred reputation and then if my reputation goes to red which is a negative 100 the creepers will not trade with you and in fact they'll probably just run away from you uh, and then the guards will try to kill you so your next question is probably how do I gain reputation? Well, you can plant creeper spores, uh, which are purchased from, I think, the farmer guy. Uh, and creeper spores will spawn in baby creepers, making, you know, making the world a better place. Uh, and uh, you will get a little bit of reputation. Let's see if I can do that right now, actually. Is the farmer guy in here? Here he is. Okay, so I'm gonna walk over to him and I, man, I'm so hungry right now. I need some of that chicken back. Okay, so yes, this dude does sell the creeper spores. It looks like they are only 25 voxels, which isn't that bad. So you're essentially paying uh, voxels for reputation, which is pretty cool. Uh, the only problem is whenever I shift right click, which is how you buy things, it says down here, you must hold a key to the city in your inventory to purchase special items. So if you guys remember, uh, whenever I was talking to the mayor, he had a key to the city, uh, which allows you to purchase a lot of special items. And those are those super top shelf items I was talking about. We are going to get back to those in just a minute. But yeah, 
Creeper spores. That's one way to gain reputation. Another way is to read books about the creeper civilization, um, it, which I think you can get from this dude. Hello, dude. Do you? Oh yeah, he's got some books right here. So he's got creepers for dummies. <laughs> Creepers and you understanding our leafy friends, and then studies in advanced creeper diplomacy. And these books are pretty expensive. This one's only 75, which I guess isn't too bad, but this one is 375, and then the third one is 750, which is quite a bit, but I'm just gonna buy the 375 one real quick. And when I right click it, my reputation went up to 100, which is really cool. Now I can. Now it can trade for cheaper prices, I think. Uh, so maybe not with a shady creeper because he's shady, but I'll check out the prices on this guy. They should be cheaper. Uh, so yeah, yeah, they're a little bit cheaper. Cool. So uh, I'm going to go grab some food real quick because I'm like super hungry. And then uh, we'll get back to exploring the village. You're probably also wondering, how do I lose reputation? Well, you can commit crimes in the creeper villages, uh, unfortunately. So, uh, com committing crimes involves, you know, killing other creepers, um, but also stealing. You can't steal. If you'll notice, a lot of these buildings have chests in them. I can open them up, but the second I decide to steal this loaf of bread, the guards will come running after me and basically kill me. So, yeah, don't commit any crimes. It's just bad for everybody, but I think that's pretty cool. I will check out committing crimes later. I definitely don't want to be committing any crimes right now. Uh, I want these guys on my good side. Now, the moment we've all been waiting for, the top shelf items. Let's go buy that key to the city, if I have enough money. I, I definitely don't. I'm gonna have to go get some voxels, I think. Oh no, I'm like, oh my god, I'm like 20 away. No way. Um, okay, I'll be right back. I have to go kill some zombies. All right. I've, I've got enough. I've got enough voxels. Mr. Mayor, I'm, I'm here to trade you. <laughs> He's always right here. This is like his spot. But yeah, Mayor, I'm here to buy the key to the city. I, I don't even know why he's selling the key to the city, but okay, we bought it. We bought the key. The big cheese. All right, so with the key to the city, I, I just have to have it on my person, I believe, and then I can purchase these top shelf items I've been talking about. So let's let's hit up the farmer real quick. Let's let's see what he's got. Hey man, what's good? What you selling? Okay, so he's got some creeper spores uh, for 21. I can buy those now. That's pretty sick. I'm gonna show you what it looks like to <laughs> birth a little baby creeper. This is where creepers come from, you guys. So here we go. I'm just gonna- oh no, I need to till the soil. <laughs> I was sitting there right-clicking the grass. I need to get a hoe. So I'm gonna go back over to the farmer, which sells uh, these special tool sets. Give me that hoe! Uh, I don't have enough voxels. I- I need- need to go- need to go kill some more mobs again. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I- I totally just killed like thousands of mobs. I- in like less than a few minutes. I I really did. I didn't hack or cheat or nothing. But yeah, we got 50,000 voxels now. That's more than enough. I'm gonna buy this hoe real quick. I always forget to shift right click, but remember to shift right click. And I hope this is not committing a crime, like changing up a block in town, but we'll see what happens. Okay, no one cares. All right, I'm gonna plant in the creeper spore. Okay, all right, let's try that again. Whoa, that's weird. He just like came right out of the grass, but there he is. Uh, his name's Noah. Hey, Noah. Nice hat. That's a pretty cool hat. Anyway, um, yeah, so that is basically what creeper spores are. That is one of the special items. Let's see if we can find some of the other special items. All right, so here is the head scientist. His name's Beaker. Let's see if he's, he doesn't, he's just selling a ton of potions, which is pretty handy dandy, because honestly, I'm not too much of a fan of just alchemy in general, so I would be down to purchase some potions from that guy. Just not right now. All right, what about you, Mr. Guard? Are you, are you selling anything cool? Well, he's selling uh, some armor and stuff, which is always cool. He's got TNT too, and arrows. That's pretty sick, but no special items. Okay, uh, well, I'm going to buy this chest plate anyways, just to show you guys uh, how these uh, new armor and tool sets work.
So uh, this is a one enchant chest is what it's called. Uh, there are three sets, like I said, but the second set is called a two enchant chest and the third set is called a three enchant chest. So each set of the armor and tools contain a certain number of random hidden enchantments. Uh, and you basically activate these enchantments by right clicking. And then it makes a really cool noise and then you just get like a random enchantment. This uh, chest uh, is called the Jagged Chest and has Thorns 3 on it. All these sets have custom names and everything so it's always really cool to just buy armor from these guys. But yeah, that's basically how the armor works. But I also do want to show you this hoe because I, I didn't even activate the enchantment. So that gave it Unbreaking 1 which is really cool. So like, yeah. <clears throat> oh, that chicken is so tasty. All right, let's head over here to the mayor. I know he's got some cool items. So he's got this item here called a mob zapper. He's also got the monocle, which I'm gonna buy right now. That was very expensive. Um, but I'm also gonna buy the mob zapper, which is super cool. First, I'm gonna put on the monocle so I can look just like the mayor. Now I'm the mayor, technically, so. Oh, wait, I think I really am. Someone, did that guy just say hello, your mayorfulness to me? Hold on, does this make me the mayor of the town? Hey, sir, or uh, ma'am, respect me. Yes, no one knows. See, no one knows I'm the mayor. Fantastic to see you out and about, mayor. Oh, this is so cool. I've become the mayor. Everybody treats me with respect. I demand respect. I demand respect from you. <laughs> okay, I got a little bit distracted there, but uh, no worries. Uh, I got this mob zapper here, and you know what? This is my favorite of the special items, so I'm going to show that last. Sorry, guys, it, it's it's just that cool. But what I'm going to do right now is go buy all these special items so you guys don't have to watch me hunt for them, and yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, so I have all of these special items right here, um, it, minus the creeper spores. They do count, but I already showed you what those were. So uh, here is the woodcutter's axe, and th there's no trees. There's no trees nearby. And whoa, is this a little mine going on? Ah, oh, there's so many good ores in there. I can't mine them though, because that would be that would be a crime. And y you guys know we can't commit crimes around here unless we're the mayor. What if I'm the mayor? Does that excuse my criminalness? Maybe. You know what? I'm gonna come back here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna commit a lot of crimes at the end of this video. Okay, so I ran over here to this tree. I didn't fly over here or anything. And I got this woodcutter's axe. And I'm just gonna cut down the bottom. And just like that, the whole tree comes tumbling down uh, thanks to this woodcutter's axe. This is super awesome for me, at least, because this is like a whole separate mod you would install to your Minecraft anyways. So it's cool that that's just an item in this mod. But yeah. Uh, the next item up is called the Miner's Helmet, and I have to take off my monocle for this and put on my Miner's Helmet, and now I can see in caves without even using torches. It doesn't look like you have torches or anything, you just get permanent night vision, so uh, not too much of a change there. Alright, I gotta eat some chicken. You want some chicken, cow? I, I know you, you're a fan of chicken, I've seen those Chick-fil-A billboards. And you're on it, and then, you know, you're telling me to eat more chicken because you don't want me to eat you. Alright, I'll come back later. I'll come back later. Alright, so the last two items here is, uh, well, this one's a murderous axe. And it's basically just a really strong axe uh, that you can buy. And it kills everything in, like, one hit. Uh, so, yeah, let's see. How much damage does it do? Oh, you can enchant it, too. Oh, that, that got so many enchantments. It does 16.25 attack damage. It's, it's quite a bit. You know, it's, it's maybe not as much as some mod weapons, but I mean, it's all right. You know, it's pretty good. Uh, but yeah, that is the Murderous Axe. It says it is pre-owned. So, yeah. Yeah. And last but not least, we have the Mob Zapper, which is my favorite item, personally. You basically just uh, put it down anywhere. And... Any hostile mob within 50 blocks will be zapped. And by zapped, I mean that they just die. They get, they like disappear, which is cool. Like watch, if I spawn a zombie. Come on, man, come on. There we go. Yeah, so he got zapped, you know? So I'm gonna put down more. They just get zapped, they get killed, which is super cool. You know, it's good for parties. If you're trying to have a party, 
uh, have friends over. You don't want to have to worry about any uh, hostile mobs. It just plays down one of these mob zappers and you're good, you know? But yeah, guys, that was the Voxel mod. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, please hit that like button down below. Let me know uh, you want to see some more mods or whatever. Comment uh, if you have any mods that you would like me to showcase. Uh, but I plan on doing more mods on my channel. I really like them, and some mods are getting much more advanced lately. This mod was for Minecraft 1.7.10, but the mod maker said that it will be coming out for 1.10 very soon, which is really exciting because this might be a mod I'll for sure check out again. But anyway, thanks for watching. I will talk to y'all later. See you guys. All right. Maybe they won't notice. Transgression detected. Huh? Transgression. Oh, 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 no, no. Stay away from me. Stay away from me. Oh, no. All right, guys. You want a piece of this? I Did you know I have a murderous act? Transgression detected. You guys don't want to mess with me. I'm the mayor, you know. Oh no, <laughs> they're dropping voxels. What do I do? What do I do? <laughs> they're all trying to blow me up. I'm just gonna kill this guy. Sorry, Smokey. Creepers everywhere.